in your Belinda on January 9th, 1913. Arrived Richard Nixon, the cutest thing you've ever seen. He attended Whittier College and Duke University. In 37, passed the bar, became an attorney. He practiced law in Whittier and near there in a play. Met Pat Bell in love and in 40 would wed them they. Had two children, both girls, Trisha and Julie. But before they were born, Richard and Pat moved to D.C. Richard Milhouse Nixon, 36, came before his indelible place in history, 69 to 74. In 42, Richard enlisted in the U.S. Navy. In 47, ran and won U.S. rep easily. In 50, Senator, then chosen Eisenhower's VP. Ran for president, 60, lost in 68, victory. Richard went to China, met Mao, and through detente made peace. Did the same with the Soviet Union, brought trade between countries. Brought an end to America's fight in the Vietnam War. And spoke by phone to the astronauts on the moon like never before. Richard Milhouse Nixon, 36, came before his indelible place in history, 69 to 74. He was re-elected by a landslide in 1972, but soon the Watergate scandal started coming into view. He was blamed in the cover-up, so Congress planned to impeach. But he resigned and was pardoned by Ford after his last speech. Richard went home, wrote his memoirs, improved his rapport. But a stroke took him on April 22nd of 94. His legacy was turning Russia and China into friends. But the shadow of Watergate followed him well past his end.